Welcome to the Salesforce Monthly Roundup brought to you by Sesguru. This video is a comprehensive recap of the latest updates, initiatives, and much more from the Salesforce world. On March 4th, Salesforce announced that the Ethisphere Institute had again recognized them as one of the world's most ethical companies. The Institute's 2024 list includes 136 organizations across 20 countries and 44 industries, and the latest recognition marks Salesforce as being honored for the 15th time after making waves with Einstein Copilot. The CRM giant unveiled a slew of new generative AI tools and capabilities at its annual developer conference, Trailblazer DX. Here are the key takeaways from the two-day premiere event. The centerpiece was Einstein One Studio, a suite of low-code tools like Prompt Builder, Copilot Builder, and Model Builder designed to enable developers to build and customize AI-enhanced applications, including Einstein Copilot. Doubling down on Data Cloud, Salesforce introduced Data Cloud Vector Database and Search. Currently in Pilot, this capability enables businesses to manage and derive value from their data in effectively leveraging AI functionalities. Another remarkable announcement was the availability of a new free developer web portal for building Slack applications. According to Salesforce, the new portal allows developers to create sandboxes to test beta apps and best practices. Other features include Python and JavaScript functions in Bolt and CLI Slack integrations. Trailblazer DX 2024 was not just about tech. The highlight was hundreds of attendees dressed as Albert Einstein. This whimsical gathering of 885 trailblazers dressed as Einstein broke the Guinness World Record title for the largest gathering of people dressed as Albert Einstein. Salesforce introduced new features in its Data Cloud Spring 24 release, announced on March 6th. These features are designed to improve the usability of data across the platform and CRM applications. Notable features include Data Cloud-related lists and Data Cloud-triggered flows, which aim to enhance data usability within Salesforce CRM applications and platform services. The following day, Salesforce launched new AI tools for the healthcare sector. Einstein Copilot. Health Actions is a new conversational AI assistant that delivers responses based on a healthcare organization's private data. The company said assessment generation will allow organizations to digitize health assessments, such as clinical summaries, personalized communication, etc without manually typing or coding them. Salesforce celebrated its 25th anniversary on March 8th. The occasion was marked with festivities in Salesforce offices worldwide. Mark Benioff, the CEO and co-founder, took to X and shared a photo that included co-founder Parker Harris. In the post, he reflected on the amazing journey that began 25 years ago for the company Salesforce officially opened its new office in Auckland, New Zealand, the same week it celebrated its 25th anniversary. According to a company report, the new spacious office is in the heart of Auckland's central business district and offers panoramic sweeping views of Auckland Harbour and the Horaki Gulf, building upon the success of its starter tier offering. Salesforce announced the general availability of ProSuite on March 12th. According to a company report, the new suite offers advanced functionalities tailored to assist small businesses in handling their workflows more efficiently while retaining the simple, out-of-the-box experience the entry-level suite offers. On March 13th, Salesforce launched the Einstein One Field Service Edition a new comprehensive package designed to improve technicians' productivity and increase operational efficiency in the field. The new package utilizes AI and real-time data to help field technicians access unified knowledge summaries, including product manuals, past appointment data, 
a set history, and important customer information. In other news, Salesforce named Alexandra Legend Siegel its Chief Equality Officer. In this role, Alexandra will lead the company's global equality strategy, focusing on talent practices and employee experience. Well, that's all in this Salesforce Monthly Roundup. Thank you all for watching. And for more updates and insight, remember to subscribe to our channel.